Hi everyone, I'm Jen Morose. I'm happy to share with you work of BC educators as we use tools to help us communicate student learning. In this case, Beatrix Knoll, grade four French immersion teacher of Ecole La Ronde of South Surrey has used two excellent learning progressions to help her students attach evidence of learning to each learning intention on the way up to the uh, ceiling of the standard. Have a look at the way that she has students upload their evidence of learning to an online portfolio program called Spaces and how she uses that for communication of student learning with parents and students alike. The free link to Beatrix Ladders are in the video description. Enjoy and subscribe for more videos just like these. Hi, my name is Beatrix Knoll. I'm a grade four teacher in the Surrey School District French Immersion. And uh, Jen asked me to just share how I'm using learning ladders in my classroom. And this is the first year I'm attempting learning ladders. So far, so good. So our first one that we use this year is for math. And I created this learning ladder here for numbers up to 10,000. Um, and so basically how I use this is uh, I showed or I shared the learning ladder with my students at the beginning of our unit. Uh, I let them know what they're going to be learning, the learning progressions that we're going to go through. And then at the end of the unit, I gave this back to them and I asked them to go through their duotangs and find evidence of work that is related to each of the steps or as many of the steps that they think that they accomplished in the unit. They then took pictures of their work and uploaded it to their online portfolios. I then went through the learning ladders and highlighted where I thought they were based on my evaluations and then attached these learning ladders to their work, which then went into their classroom portfolios. This is a great tool for parents as well when they come in and meet with me, um, if they want to know, you know, what their child is learning and the different progressions that they've gone through. And it's a really quick snapshot as well for assessment and for report cards. So that's it. I'm excited to see how else I'm going to be using this this year. We have just created our second learning ladder for uh, patterns. So the students are aware already what they're going to be learning and, um, We'll see where they go. Um, on a side note, they were super excited to use these and a few of my students even asked if I was going to give them a learning ladder for art and PE. So now I know what I'm gonna be tackling next. Thank you. Try these learning ladders, they are amazing. Thank you, Jen.